What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka Allfires. You know, it feels like forever ago, but it was just last year that the rumors were running rampant about Tom Cruise's superior Iron Man showing up in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, especially when those TV spots started to drop closer to its release and we actually got reveals of the 838 Illuminati. Now, as it turns out, the writer on that project, Michael Waldron, was quick to reveal that he had seen the rumors while they were developing the project and he was never a part of it. Another thing that was apparent during the film though was that they were willing to listen to the fandom as evidence of this John Krasinski showed up as Reed Richards and afterwards the director Sam Raimi admitted the only reason Kevin Feige was willing to do that was basically to serve up the fan fiction now we're getting a report from an industry insider and much in the way that John Krasinski got to be Reed Richards that Tom Cruise might actually get to be superior Iron Man this coming from a scoopster that's had quite the track record lately we're gonna break down his latest post what he said about it and of course where in the world this might fit in the future of the MCU. There are reports we'll be headed back to the 838 and maybe sooner than you think, but I don't think that will be the place. We're breaking it all down, Tom Cruise superior Iron Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But first, I want to tell you about my friends over at comicbookdirect.com. Guys, I've been telling you about comicbookdirect.com for months now, and let me tell you, it has absolutely transformed the way that I'm reading comics. Part of the huge problem with not being able to keep up with runs is that you got to go to the comic store to do it, and for a lot of us, we are so busy that it's just not an option. Well, now, it's easier than ever to connect with the comics you want and they really have everything from mangas and collectibles anything you need for your comic book fandom the best part about it is you can get one book if you want but you can also go ahead and subscribe to a run to be able to keep up with the story you even get more if you pay up front or you can simply pay as you go either way make sure to use code everything always when you visit comicbookdirect.com that's going to save you 20 percent again that's code everything always use the link below to sign up and save 20 percent on your future orders all right so this update actually comes to us from the anonymous Twitter scoopster and industry insider Can We Get Some Toast. They're a great follow on Twitter, or should I say X, and they're only anonymous in the sense that we don't know who they actually are because these Twitter scoopsters have started using their social media platform to run the scoops on. They develop a track record over time. So while I tell you guys to take this stuff with a grain of salt or leave it in rumor mill territory, Can We Get Some Toast actually has quite the track record. They are a very serious source and are right a lot more than they are wrong. So take that what you will. They tweeted out yesterday, a quote like many Tom Cruise's superior Iron Man was one of my favorite rumors he would have nailed that version of Tony I heard they're still planning on using him at some point in the future with the eyes emoji now I want to point out immediately when I read this I did wonder whether he specifically means Marvel plans on using Tom Cruise or Marvel plans on using superior Iron Man and Tom Cruise in that role I think the door is still open on Robert Downey Jr. returning now whether or not he's going to want to do that. Secret Wars plans to feature all of the biggest superheroes and from every cinematic universe, and I think in any other circumstance, bringing Robert Downey Jr. back would have, I don't know, probably more complications than it would be good. And we've talked about that here at the channel. You don't want to bring him back as AI. He's way too expensive for that. You don't want to have him involved with an Avengers team because it wouldn't give other characters time to grow and shine as it is for the last couple of years. Marvel hasn't taken the time to do that anyway. That's more on Marvel than Tony Stark's shadow being over the top of them, but if he were to just come out of a portal in the multiverse, I've said up until now that would feel cheap, but if we're going to have our, I don't know what, fifth version of Professor X played by Sir Patrick Stewart after he's died, I don't know, at least two times now on screen in the last half decade, I don't think I'd mind as much if Robert Downey Jr. is in that mix as well, plus I would absolutely love to see him right in between Hugh Jackman's Wolverine and Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man, and while I think that is becoming more and more of a reality and the picture is becoming a lot more clear of what they plan to do, Robert Downey Jr. returning as Iron Man doesn't really present a lot of opportunity to get Tom Cruise involved as Iron Man, and I wonder to myself if Tom Cruise taking a role in the MCU is more on par with what this quote is about rather than the superior Iron Man. Now, for that specific variant, a lot of us almost willed him into existence in the 838, and as I mentioned during the prologue, if Kevin Feige saw all the rumors and the concept art, was willing to pick up John Krasinski for a one-off cameo, there's no reason they wouldn't do this with Tom Cruise. But my main point of contention is is, is that really how Tom Cruise would want to be used in the MCU? If he was looking to join superhero movies, would he want to just come do a one-off? And as Kevin Feige specifically put it while reaching out to John Krasinski, quote-unquote, come play in our sandbox in for a day, 
Now conversely, for devil's advocacy sake, maybe that's exactly what Tom Cruise would be willing to do. Maybe he doesn't want to be part of superhero movies, doesn't want to be a part of it for a decade, would be really willing to just do a cameo, but I still find it hard to believe that that's the character that they would serve up. So while we don't know the specifics of what Can We Get Some Toast was talking about, whether it's Iron Man or whether it's Tom Cruise specifically, I think the real fan service is in bringing back Tony Stark the Robert Downey Jr. version during Secret Wars, and as I said in this video once already, and I mean it, while I used to think I'd have a problem with him just showing up out of a portal during Secret Wars, like if they're going to have all these variants and all these other characters show up, I'm just not going to mind it. It's going to be fine. I think that's where you put this, especially with the rumors still out there somewhere that Steve Rogers' Captain America could have his own solo project to return as well. The two of them back amongst Hugh Jackman's Wolverine and the rest of the crew would actually be a dream come true. I think there's a good chance that this is is where the fan service lies and not in a Tom Cruise Iron Man. And if you just sort of look at the calendar, know how Marvel Studios is sort of downsizing the scope of their projects except for the important stuff, is there really enough time and space in any of these movies, pun totally intended, to work Tom Cruise's Iron Man in? Not really, not unless there's some crazy battle world film we don't know anything about lurking behind the corner that's going to delve back into the multiverse. And before you even say it, no, absolutely not. He's not going to show up. Aren't there enough cameos already reported for Deadpool 3? While there are heavy rumors we'll be headed back to the 838 to see a whole new lineup of the Illuminati, rest assured we're not going into that again. He wasn't there the first time. He's not going to be there again. And along those lines, I just don't see a place to work him in. So next time we see Iron Man in the MCU, my fingers are crossed and my money is on, it being Robert Downey Jr.'s Tony Stark. Where in the world Tom Cruise could fit into any of this? Well, who knows what Marvel has in store. There were reports that Tom Cruise had met with Kevin Feige and that they had tried to work out a role, but I don't know how much I believe in that either. And we do know now with much transparency that he never made it very far into the whole Iron Man thing. Anyway, he's spoken about that recently and uh, thinks Robert Downey Jr. was perfect for the role, which I think we all agree, uh, we, you know, it would be very weird to see another Iron Man regardless of the situation. And even if you are pulling for a superior Iron Man variant, which I totally hear you, he's a crazy character, do you not think Robert Downey Jr. would nail that version as well? I am all ears. Let me know down in the comments how you feel about all of this. And if you could see Tom Cruise in the multiverse saga somewhere, not a superior Iron Man, which superhero, what in the world is left for him? Uh, yeah, again, all ears quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff. Before I let you go, we are still giving away PlayStations at the channel. The next one is rapidly approaching with Loki's finale, just around the corner, about two months away. If you want to be entered to win, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber, then leave a comment down below because it's truly random. The more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of videos, the same way we're doing here. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you like today's video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. My name's Michael Roman. Find me in a couple of places, Instagram and Twitter at I'm Fires. You can also find my original music on all platforms under the name All Fires. Thank you to everyone who's already supported me there. And if you haven't heard it yet, and you are morbidly curious or just want to help the algorithm push it out to people who do, uh, it is uh, heavy on the post-punk pantomime. So if you're into that kind of thing, you know, 2000s post-punk revival, killers, bravery, that sort of thing, you would actually really dig my music. Uh, you can find it under all fires on all platforms. All right. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.